How are you all friends? This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today we are going to talk about uh, impedance or we'll be dealing with complex numbers. So without further ado, let me share my screen with you. says find impedance, complex numbers find impedance. The voltage V impedance Z or Z and current I in a circuit are related by the equation Z is equal to or Z is equal to V divided by I. Find the impedance Z or Z if I is equal to 7 plus 5I and V is equal to 35 plus 70I. So, We'll use the definition as given for Z is equal to V over I is equal to 35 plus 70I divided by 7 plus 5I. Okay. So we will then simplify. So Z is equal to 35 plus 70I divided by 7 plus 5i and then we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of 7 plus 5i which is 7 minus 5i divided by 7 minus 5i. Notice I've divided and multiplied by the same number so basically it's 1. So this is okay then because I've multiplied by 1 basically. Now I will use a foil or I will multiply the components or the terms in the numerator and in the denominator. Foil is like first, then outside term, first term, outside term, then inside term and last term. So basically you uh, start with, uh, um, say you start with, uh, let's see. You can start with uh, 35 and do 35 times 7 and then 35 times minus i. So let's do, I'm distributing 35 to the term 7 and minus 5i in the numerator. So this becomes 2, let's write it over here, 245 minus 175i and then I will distribute the 70i term in the numerator to 7 and minus 5i in the numerator in the numerator right so 7 times 70 is 490i minus 70 times 5 is 350 and i times i is i squared the whole thing is divided by doing the same operation in the numerator. I will get, I'll distribute the 7 in the first, in the uh, denominator, in the first, uh, um, in the first uh, term inside the first parenthesis to 7 and minus 5i in the second term in the denominator. So let's do 7, distribute it to 7, it is 49, minus 7 times 5i is 35i. Then I will distribute 5i to 7 and minus 5i, 5i times 7 is plus 35i. And then plus 5 and minus 5 is minus 25i squared. Now, this plus 35 and minus 35, they are cancelled each other. Okay. So, if I can create some more space by moving this a little bit up. Okay. So, then it becomes... Z is equal to... So it becomes 245 
minus 175i plus 490i. Okay, so this is a 4. Just to make sure, this is a 4, right? 490i. So 490i positive minus 175i is plus 3. So this is plus 315i because 490 minus 175 is 315 and then I have uh, minus 350 and i square by itself is i square is minus 1 right so then I divide the whole thing by 49 minus 25 and again i square is minus 1 so in the numerator I have 245 and then minus 350 times minus 1 is plus 350 plus 315i and in the denominator I have it should be 315i and in the denominator I have 49 plus 25 so and z is equal to 245 plus 350 is 595 plus 315i 315 is 1 over here, not 315i, okay? Divided by 49 plus 25 is 74, which is equal to 595 over 74 plus 315 over 74i, okay? So this is a complex number because it involves a, a imaginary number as well as a real number, okay? So Z is equal to 595 by 74, which is the real part, and the complex part is 315 over 74. This is our impedance. What we have used here is we have multiplied, we have distributed terms, we have used FOIL, or we have used multiplication of the two expressions in the numerator and two expressions in the denominator. And we have also utilized the fact that i square is equal to minus 1. And hence, we simplified and got this answer. So I will stop here today. If you <laughs> really like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. I'll appreciate that. And please let your friends know about this channel. I'll appreciate that. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And you can also, you know, write me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Okay, see you next time. Please subscribe to my channel and take care. I'm coming back next time with another problem, another solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you.